let's call it. These are the quarterfinals that we have so far. The round we'll, of 16. We'll come back to the yeah. bottom half, but yeah. these are the, oh, round of 16, yes, sorry. Yes. So we'll call it Uruguay, Portugal. <laughs> Who goes through? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> See, Portugal just have a way of taking their chances even if they do not seem to make their chance. Mm -hmm. So they will wait for a chance to appear. I, I think they are like hyenas. They will not go hunt, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but they will wait for the wait for, for the scavenge to be there and go uh, and go eat. Um, so I, I'll root for Portugal because I do not know how Uruguay are defensively. I don't think they're that solid. <coughs> so they I think we'll make it. In this tournament. Yes, <laughs> but they have played against Russia, Egypt, um, and some would say. I mean, their defense, their central defensive partnership is the one that plays for Atletico Madrid. True. So true. they play the whole season together. It's a really together. a tough one. It's really a tough one. Um, but you, you see Portugal? I, I don't know why I just see Portugal going ah, through. Uh, I think right. it's a South American mentality versus... I think this is where the, the mental strength will come in. Mm -hmm. uh, South Americans are not as mentally strong as Europeans. So this is where I see maybe them having an edge. All right. So uh, you can move, move that Portugal. Let's finish. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I can move it here. Yeah. Uh, Second round of 16 game. Let's deal with this one. Spain, Russia. <laughs> this is a bit more obvious. It would uh, be nice if Russia went through for the mm -hmm. sake of the fans <laughs> in World Cup. Uh -huh. But I think this would be too much for them. So Spain so is Spain, through. Yes. They are playing poorly, Spain. Mm -hmm. However, I still think they'll... I don't see the Russian defense working with mm -hmm. uh, handling Diego Costa. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Croatia, Denmark. Uh, this is obvious. Uh, <laughs> I don't need to explain this. Uh -huh. yeah. You think they'll just be too uh, this, this for is, yeah, this. I'll be surprised if Denmark scores against them. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, finally, France, Argentina. Uh, I'll put a disclaimer here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if France plays the way they have played the first three games, mm -hmm. Argentina is going through. Argentina is going through. Yeah. Despite not despite really their disorganization, despite them being so porous and ah. everything, Argentina will go through. And that will set up Messi versus Ronaldo in the yes, quarters. Yes. <laughs> um, uh -huh. But 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 I see France waking up. They have to. They have mm -hmm. to wake up. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think I think I'll take this. Uh, I'll go with France. Yeah. Argentina need to sort out the issues at home. Um, for them to come back stronger. Ah, yeah. All right. All right. That's an interesting quarter final. That's a yeah. very interesting quarter final. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. yeah, I think I agree, basically. The only one maybe I'd have. Uh, You'd have put Uruguay. I'd have put Uruguay. I think they are more defensively solid. Mm. Um, yeah, and I think that will that, put them in good stead against a frustrated Cristiano Ronaldo, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but anyway, we'll mm. wait and see. Uh, we'll do the rest of the reviews. But that would also really be quite interesting. Uruguay, France. Either, also yes, very either way. I mean, or the Uruguay, Argentina. It's setting yeah. up for a very interesting yeah. quarterfinal showdown. Yeah, I think this is more hard. This side is harder to predict. Mm -hmm. This is quite straightforward. This is quite easy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. All right.